know, they're keeping clean sheets, winning games. They're starting to do the right things now. The referee's whistle goes, and we are underway from Widener Field in Colorado Springs. And he said that he could have been the man of the match against Indy with his impact last time out, along with Carlos Morancio had to fill in for Tyler Derrick. Yeah, very, it's very rare that they get man of the match because they don't necessarily do anything that goes on the highlight reel. Yeah. But they're so important in allowing the more creative, the more flair players in their team to express themselves. Takes the game by the scruff of the neck and provides that, that moment for their team tonight. Speedy Williams trying to thread a ball through initially on the back end here. He is penalized and for a little kick of the ball away here after the play was over, Deshane Beckford is going to see a diverse's health yellow card. Attack right. Moving the ball quickly, you're going to start to see gaps appear in the RGB defense. Ball to flex off of Tejada. Davila. RGB said they were, quote, structurally sound. Said obviously Frank Lopez has been great, but they're so clean in the back line, he told us. And he said our transitional moments, taking them as quickly as possible, would be so key to the match. This ball's headed on and headed over by Tejada out of almost nothing. This, this can often lead to players now being able, you need those players who can manage that pressure, handle those big moments, and take the game by the scruff of the neck, but. Oh, it's one back here by the switchbacks. It's Romario Williams in behind. And there's a penalty appeal, oh, it's been given. Three on this decision. I think it's it's very harsh, great ball from Williams, but I think, there you go, you see the arm of Ricketts. It's smart, it's clever. He just tries to use his arm to unbalance the striker. It's a decision that could push the Toros towards the playoff exit. Yellow card has been given on the back end of this as well. It took Olven Oliva a couple of moments. The whistle goes. And it's Romario Williams who steps up and scores. The Jamaican just can't stop scoring at the moment for the switchbacks. It's a mighty swing of the boot from Romario Williams. Williams dancing at some point. Calmness, composure, picks his spot. The form he's been in this season, you put your house on him converting that. Mario Williams again comes up huge for his team. His team leading 14th goal of the season. Widener field erupts. And the switchbacks are nearly. Uh, in 75 minutes so far, whether they're able to, to pull something out the bag in the remaining 15 minutes and really make a go of it is still debatable, but there's definitely been a lack of quality in the attacking third for RGV. Substitution was brought to you by William J. Hibble Sports Medicine and Performance Center. Learn more at hibblecenter.org. Here's McGee for the switchbacks, runs out of real estate. Toros get it back. They don't keep it for long. Romario Williams plays in Malik Foster, and Foster doesn't score. Oh! Did that go in? I mean, well, Romario Williams is pleading his case. Speedy Williams was on the doorstep. Williams again feeding. Great first touch from Foster, completely eliminates the defender. And Speedy Williams is right in front of the goal. The goal is clearly in front of him. It comes off the post, probably hits his head a little bit too fast. And it's... Pinzon is to lead the break for the Toros, who don't have a ton of players forward, and Lopez can't get on the end of it. As it's a good challenge by James Musa. A little bit scrappy from both teams. Winning possession of ball and just turn it over. I think it was Chapman there, Colorado switchbacks had good possession. And there's three players around the ball, and he, he finds the player in the orange shirt. Just need to settle down and be a little bit more composed in, in their possession. Francois. It's too far for Pinzon, but Pinzon wins it back and shoots! Oh, it's off the bar! Francois taken down! Referees swarmed here as their penalty appeals from the Toros. And Francois stays down. Four or five players had their arms raised to the sky. I think another yellow card has come out. Wins possession of ball here, Pinzon. Just, oh, I don't think it did cross the line, but fantastic effort there. And then the, the defensive tackle after. Has to be absolutely timed to perfection. It's high, but it's a lot of ball. Frank Lopez booked for protesting. It's a yellow card. Sponsored by a diverse so it, looks health. Like, it looks like a red card the referee's displaying here. On your right. If they score from this, they'll still have time left to save themselves. You have the via delivering, no DOS in the box. Davila goes the low road, and it goes just over the top from Francois. 
what a chance! It's a good delivery from De Villa, low and hard. Kind of comes off his shin, stroke knee. For sure, if it ends in a loss. Francois, still time to change that for RGB. Francois, ball across is dangerous in Davila. Tried a first time shot that was saved. He's blocked away. And then it's volleyed, and it's held by Herrera after a decent strike from Juan Cabezas. Less than 90 seconds remaining. You just envision there's one more opportunity here for RGV to try and steal that equalizer. Cerro plays it centrally. There's a chance maybe for Nodarse, but it's cleared away back to Derek. Keeper's just got to put it back into the mix. Get it back forward. Cabezas. Doesn't need to be cute, doesn't need to be pretty. Just put it into the danger area, see what happens. Cabezas does so, cleared away by Mahoney. Chance to recycle this. Davila. He's going to shoot oh! it and he scores! Would you believe it? Taylor Davila equalizes with one of the last kicks of the game. Taylor Davila provides that moment. Listen, you have to give Davila credit because that's no accident whatsoever. If you look at him when he has the ball at his feet, he has a quick glance up to see where the goalkeeper is. Does well to beat the defender, Chapman, treading water, blasts it low and hard, catches the goalkeeper wrong-footed, and gets his team a much-needed point to keep them alive in this playoffs race. Results still have to go the Toros way elsewhere, but they may have just given themselves some hope. And the switchbacks will get one more chance, and Fjellberg misses it! Oh! This open goes wide of the target, but fantastic opportunity to win the game with the last kick. Just guide the ball back where it came. This game, the last 20 minutes of this game has given us everything, absolutely everything. It was a sleepy first half to say the least, but the second half, especially the latter end of the second half was really exciting finish to this game.